Hey guys, I just recorded this video and I go back and something happened. I know I pressed record, but something happened where just nothing happened. I go on my camera roll and nothing was there, but um, yeah, I'm sorry I have not posted in like, I think probably three months. I think the last video I posted was parsley video. And I did see that my planting liatris bulbs for summer bloom got like 3000 plus views. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you to everyone. I watch the video, like the video, everyone that subscribed, everyone that commented, thank you so much. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm really so sorry I haven't posted in probably three months, probably something like that, but I've had this video planned for a long time, I just never got around to doing it. It's, it's, um, here, let me see. I'm going to show you guys five, what happened to my fifth one? My fifth one. It's over here. Um, five um, plants that I use five red plants that I usually don't see in people's garden, except for maybe one or two of them. Um, but yeah, so these are red plants that I don't usually see in the typical landscape, garden, bed, anything. I don't typically see these unless it's like from a gardener who likes to garden. But if you're like walking down the street, down your neighborhood, you're probably not gonna see these unless you grow them and you plant them out there. But um, so yeah, let's start with, let's see, let's start with the one I'm holding, which is Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth. Now, I've had trouble, I've had trouble growing these for some reason. Um, they grow, they germinate, they do fine for the first two weeks, and then they just die for some reason. I don't know what, they don't get big, they probably get like this tall. But, actually, I do have one, I can't show you, but I do have one where it got it was it was doing the same thing that all the other ones were doing but i cut off the bloom and it flushed out with other blooms so i have to cut those and see i don't know if i'm just gonna have to keep cutting blooms off for it to continue to keep growing but if you guys have tips please tell me in the comments for why it's doing that i don't know why it gets a, like super small and it has a super small flower and then it just dies for some reason um i don't know why but this it gets about three to four feet tall it takes about 7 to 14 days to emerge. And let's see. Again, they're great for dried flower arrangements. Um, I don't know if they're drought tolerant. Yeah, I'd have to look it up. But, um, but yeah, they're very... I really... I feel like these plants are probably love or hate. Like, I know my mom does not like these, but me and my grandma love these. So can't wait for the day that I successfully grow these, but next one I do see, I mean, who hasn't seen the Sturgeons before, sorry, um, who hasn't seen the Sturgeons before, I've seen Sturgeons, if you give Sturgeons the right environment, they will go crazy, they will go absolutely nuts, um, so yeah, um, I've never seen this variety though, the black, the black velvet variety, um, they get about 10 to feet, 10 to 12, 15, oh, can't talk 10 to 12 inches tall and they get really wide you guys already know nasturtiums get really wide um again they take 7 to 14 days to emerge um and by the way when they get about this tall i have them in pretty good sized pots their roots are already growing out of the bottom i need to already transplant them to bigger pots so i don't know i don't know if that's just me but I really love I really love nasturtiums, but the thing is they just get too wild, so I need to put them in a place where um, they won't get as mangy and as um, I guess stringy as the ones I've seen in the past. So there's, there's that one, and then here this is Mexican sunflower or tithonia. This is torch <sighs> torch. Um, again, it's something I haven't grown very successfully and I don't see on a lot I've actually never seen this in real life I've seen it on um, YouTube videos but these will get four to six feet tall and yes they are similar to sunflowers in their like their blooms they kind of look like sunflower blooms but these get a lot more bushier and they got a lot more blooms on them and these are oh I forgot to say these two are perennials in my zone I'm a zone 10 um, but yeah, so these are very easy to grow. I have I have four growing. I think one of them died. I'm not sure why, but make sure to keep them in full sun too. Like, don't even give them 
at least give them six hours because I had mine I think maybe four and a half hours and they just died back. They didn't do good at all. So these really like the hot heat and butterflies and bees love these. They're all over them. So I'd recommend Torch or Tithonia, sorry. Um, I think they have different varieties in like yellow, but this is the red they get. So, all right, next one. I've seen, obviously I've seen Celosia before, but I have never seen the chief red flame version. This is perennial in my zone, again, uh, zone 10. I think all of these, all of these take about 10, 14 days to emerge, seven to 14 days. Um, I've never seen, yeah, again, I've never seen this variety in real life. This is an annual for anyone who's under zone 10. Blooms, um, summer to frost, they get about 16 to 30 inches tall, two to seven inches wide. Let's see. They are drought tolerant. So once they get established, they're drought tolerant. Um, but yeah, I think these would look really nice in like a cluster. I don't know, maybe with some... Maybe with, I don't know. I, I'd have to see. I'd have to see the flower. I do have four of these growing so far, and everything's doing good. So hopefully I don't kill any of them. Like, I've killed a ton of my plants that I, that I really was excited to grow. But, you know, we keep trying. And then next one, who doesn't know Cosmos? Everyone knows what Cosmos are. This is like the red, yellow, orange version. Um, so yeah, these are super easy to grow. I'm pretty sure most of us who are watching this video have probably either grown it or have seen it. They get about 10, no, not 10. They, they take about 10 to 14 days to germinate. They get about, these ones get about two to three feet tall. Um, this is the bright lights mixed version. It is an annual. So, um, so yeah, Cosmo is super easy to grow. I would recommend Cosmos. Um, I think that's all I have. I think that's all the red I have as far as seeds go. Um, let me see. Let me check real quick. I think it is. Oh, oh, I do. Okay, I, this isn't a seed, but I do have a echinacea that I currently bought at Lowe's. Um, it's called, I forgot how they fiesta something and it's just red it's like kind of looks like not actually not just red it's like kind of orange it's red kind of looks like the tithonia color and it's beautiful it's beautiful i've never seen again i don't know why i've never seen echinacea well actually I have, that's a lie i guess i've seen echinacea in like nurseries i've never seen echinacea in anyone's garden so i recommend echinacea i don't know if they have the red um the red echinacea in seed form but they might. So I think that's it for now. Again, I'm sorry I haven't posted a YouTube video in probably a few months. I'm going to try to be more active. I'm probably going to post a series of these. Like I'm probably going to have a yellow version of seeds, a blue, green, pink, purple, maybe white. I don't know if I have enough whites, but um, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'll try to post, I'll try to post next week sometime. Maybe I'll film series of videos tonight and then post them within a week span i don't know but um but yeah thank you guys for watching and again these are five red seeds or red flower seeds that are not common i don't see on a daily basis i mean obviously but um i don't see in typical landscape there you go and I, i'm gonna link these all in the comment section so Thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully see you guys next time. All right, thank you. Bye.